Hey there, this is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode out here in Hollywood, which is really the heart of Los Angeles, the movie industry, all the glitz and glamour and all that stuff. And I'm here to try another restaurant today as I continue on with my South American food tour, this time covering the country of Peru. So today I'm gonna to be eating Peruvian cuisine, which is one of my favorite foods. So just letting you know that this isn't the first time I'm having Peruvian food, because I've had it a few times in the past, but I would say this is gonna be probably the first time that I'm gonna be having like more of a variety of Peruvian foods. And I'm gonna be hitting up one of the best places in Los Angeles called Los Balcones, which is in Hollywood. And this place is a little bit more on the upscale side. So of course the presentation and all that stuff is gonna be more, you know, up there. But I heard it's authentic. You know, the owners have a passion for Peruvian food. They're from Peru. So I'm very excited to be able to try this and to show you guys what Peruvian food looks like and how it looks like here in Los Angeles. So stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see this amazing overview of Peruvian food. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel because I release these food episodes on a weekly basis. You don't want to miss out on that. So take a moment right now to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and you'll be getting these episodes on a weekly basis. So I've just arrived at this restaurant right now. So excited. So let's go in and let's try some of that food. I'm heading into the restaurant. Hey, hey there's the owner. Hey, Jorge, how's it going? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm so well, excited to be here. Yes, yeah, glad you're here. All right, Welcome awesome. To Los Balcones. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm very excited to try the food today. I heard lots of good things about you. Did you take your temperature? Oh, okay, Make of sure course. Everything is so right. <laughs> and you are. Ooh, okay. All right, looks like I passed, right? <laughs> you did. Okay, well, we awesome. Do that with all our employees every day, so uh -huh. to make sure that everybody you know, it's mm. as healthy as possible. Okay, awesome. Well, come in. All right, let's do this. Um, Los Balcones has been uh, serving the Los Angeles community for 16 years. It is born out of the necessity of me trying or tasting the Peruvian food that I grew up with. And I didn't have very available back then, so we started playing with the idea with the brothers as to, hey, how cool would it be if, you know, we have not all, only to, to meet each other at different Peruvian restaurants, but we meet at our own. So my brother opened a restaurant in the Valley and soon after, a year later, I opened this one here. I think it's very homey, very comforting food, but we uh, pride ourselves to say that we're one of the Peruvian restaurants that uses the best quality of uh, ingredients that we can find. Uh, if you come in to eat a lomo saltado, which is filet uh, mignon, sauteed with onions and tomatoes. Well, that's what you get here. You get filet mignon. You don't get any other kind of meat. You get the real stuff. If we use uh, ceviche, uh, we use the uh, sushi quality fish that we can find in the market. Whatever we pay, that's what, you know, what we serve. It's, uh, you want real quality Peruvian food? I think this is your place. Well, one of the first things that you want to do is you want to um, do cuts of meat cubes are pretty even in, in size. Mm -hmm. Then uh, this is garlic paste. Uh -huh. I love garlic. I don't know about you guys, if you yeah. like garlic, be very liberal with it. Uh -huh. Salted pepper. We use kosher salt. Uh -huh. So it's not, um, you know, too salty. It's, uh, I think, a better quality of it. Yep. And we are going to add a little bit of oil. Olive oil. I think the best way to do it, as you can see, it's, it's pretty much sear all over. Yeah. And I'm going to add it to the side so the heat of the wok it starts cooking it. We add some tomatoes. Saltado yeah. means saute. Yeah. So this is just, you're tossing, right. tossing everything together. Once that's done, you add a little bit of soy. Soy sauce. Yes, but remember we add a good amount of salt at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Special sauce that we make. Okay. That it's all the flavors of the lomo saltado. Oh. Okay. Wow. 
Very good. Steve, this is your lomo saltado. Okay. If you make a lomo saltado the way I show it to you here at home, take a little video. I'll post it on my website at the restaurant of you guys making your own lomo saltado. And I'll approve it or not. Oh, no way. Okay. <laughs> And now I'm about to feast on all this amazing Peruvian food that I have laid out in front of me. But before that, I definitely have to try this drink. Made out of a lot of things. It's very traditional. It's like made of Peruvian corn, which is a purple color, and then pineapple rinds, apple, cinnamon, sugar, lime. You know, there's like a lot of different things that's in here. But this is like one of the most traditional uh, Peruvian drinks that I'm about to drink to kick off this really awesome meal. Ah. Oh, wow. That is, that is so good. It tastes like a punch, but kind of like with a little bit of a cinnamon flavor to it. Oh, that is so refreshing. I needed that because it's like hot right now. So definitely get this if you're here, if you want a taste of really good Peruvian drinks. All right, now it's time to move on to the food. All right. This one is the tiradito, which is their famous uh, sashimi appetizer, which looks so good. As you can see here, we got some slices of this yellowtail that's on top, and then we got some aji amarillo sauce that's over it, and we got some of this corn on top of it as well, which is called choclo. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh man, that is some really awesome raw fish right there. It tastes so fresh. Mmm. And this aji amarillo sauce really has like a really nice hint of like sourness to it, good creaminess to it. Oh yeah, this is very good appetizer. If you're into raw fish like sushi, sashimi, then you definitely need to get this here at a Peruvian restaurant here in Los Balcones. Mm. This one here is the pulpo al olivo, which is like seared grilled octopus that has so many different spices and marination on it with this beautiful like kind of purple olive spread in the bottom along with some olives to top it off. And then you got some chimichurri on it as well and got some nice toasted bread. Ooh, that looks so beautiful. I love the way that it's like charred on the top. I can already tell that I'm gonna like this dish so much. I would be so surprised if I don't like this dish. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you love octopus, you love that charred barbecue texture to it, you're gonna love this one. I really love the spices in there, you know, with like a little bit of the saltiness of the olive along with the chimichurri sauce. This is amazing. This is definitely something you gotta get at this restaurant. Definitely have to get some of that, that olive spread sauce that looks so beautiful in the bottom. Get a generous portion of that. Ooh -hoo. Mm. Love that bread. Mm, so crispy, has a nice butteriness to it. And then when you add it with this olive spread, it's amazing. Overall, this is a knockout dish. And right here we have the ceviche classico, which is also another one of the hot items here at Los Balcones. And you got some of that sea bass right here, which is really fresh. It's like a sushi grade fish that they use here. And you got some like popcorn or corn here as well. Like we got the Peruvian corn and we got the unpopped popcorn as they called it. This is the first time I'm ever gonna be trying that. And then we also got some sweet potato right there. And yeah, so this is a fabulous dish. Oh, oh, oh. that's so interesting. It's like, so you definitely taste the ceviche like the lemon sourness of it, but then it has that crunchiness from the 
unpopped popcorn. And then it's a little bit spicy too because of the red peppers that are inside. But it's like there's so much going on in your mouth when you eat this thing. Well, wow. and let's try some of this potato as well. I want to see what the potato tastes like. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. Imagine the sweet potato along with this sea bass sashimi. <clears throat> so if you love sashimi, sushi, you love ceviche, you got to get it at this place because it's really good. And I'm not just saying that, it's, it's, it is really good. It's fresh, it's flavorful, and there's like so many varieties of the things on this plate that makes this a wonderful dish, a wonderful party fiesta in your mouth. And right here is the lomo saltado, one of the most popular Peruvian dishes in existence. And you saw them cooking this back there a while ago. So what's cool here is that they use filet mignon, like really high quality meat, along with some like tomatoes and onions and the sauce, which is like vinegar, you know, soy sauce and you know, some other great stuff as well in there. And then you got some uh, French fries and we got rice, two staples in Peru. I'm so amazed at how soft this, this beef is, this filet mignon. I think this is the first time I've had lomo saltado in this filet mignon, because usually they just use like a regular ribeye steak, which is not a bad thing, by the way, because I do like ribeye, but this is taking it to a whole nother level. So you definitely know this is a little bit more of an upscale Peruvian restaurant. All right, so I'm gonna get some of that beef with the tomatoes together and put it in my mouth just like that. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, amazing. It's really soft. It's really like mm, flavorful. Mm. And then with that tomato as well added in, amazing. You see, what's interesting about this restaurant is that because um, you know when you make lomo saltado, some of them they like to mix the fries in with the beef, like kind of mix it all together. But here they kind of keep the fries separately. Now I'm assuming they do that because they don't want the, the fries to get soggy. Some people like that, some people don't care if it's all mixed in. But at least here, you know, they kind of put the fries separately. Mm. And then right here we have the seco de carne, which is also one of the specialty here at Los Balcones. This is a beautiful dish. Look, we got a short rib right here that's been braised for like six hours. And then we got like the spread that's in the bottom, the lima bean spread, which kind of looks like a mashed potato with all this gravy on top of it as well, which is so delicious. And just a little bit of that onion and tomato cilantro to make it a little refreshing. I'm amazed at how soft this thing is. It's like you cut right into it with your fork and it just breaks apart. How amazing is that? All right. Here. Mm. That shortbread, it just like falls apart, melts in your mouth, just like that. And that gravy that's on top of it, amazing. If you're like a short rib person, you kind of like that beef stew type of texture, along with this mm, beautiful bean spread that's in the bottom. That's kind of like a mashed potato. Oh yeah, very similar to a mashed potato. It's so, so good. So if you guys are like in Hollywood and you just don't know where else to eat around here and you're open to trying some really awesome Peruvian food, then you gotta come here to Los Balcones. Seriously, one of the best foods that I've had here in Hollywood. In fact, Peruvian food is like really one of the absolute best foods that you can have in South America out of all the countries there. I can say that honestly. So if you're here in LA, and you want some Peruvian food, then be sure to uh, catch this place, Los Balcones. And if you don't know what else to get, just order what I got. And I guarantee you, you're gonna be very satisfied because what I just got here is are some of the best items on the menu and they just won't disappoint. Oh yeah. Carlos, Sean, and Jorge. So these three, if you see them here, say hi to them, tell them that you saw this episode and that's the reason why you came. They're gonna treat you really well here and they're gonna serve you some of the best food here, right guys? All right guys, all right, woo!